Hello, y'all. We are back. We are back. Um, picking up where we left off. I just kind of picked a little area and just stopped. <laughs> Didn't get to a campfire or anything, but uh, we're heading down into this uh, ruin area. I also would like to apologize for the volume on the last uh, video. I since then I think I have it worked out, so it should sound better now. Um, anyway, like and subscribe, and let's get to it. We told y'all before, I'm gonna try to give y'all about 30 minutes of, uh, oh, what man. is that? I think we're gonna kill this officer. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard minutes. is up. 30 minutes of footage. Uh, yeah, that's crazy, yeah, whatever that was. <clears throat> Light makes my throat itch. Up here. <laughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Sneak up on him to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Okay, there's its patrol path. Gotta get closer and stay out of sight. Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Nothing I can't handle. your back. Good 
hit. I wasn't expecting that. the name to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. The Osra must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. to salvage some supplies huh. and not blow yourself oh, that's how you 20 minutes it and got more supplies uh -oh. <laughs> looks like another camp while we're here maybe we can make some traps of our own might come in handy against machines good idea I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. 
But it looks like the Osirum show off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. Should have what I need to craft a trap. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Over here. Hey, Lloyd. I think I see a way up. I don't think they spotted us. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. It's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we should craft some traps. It could help us get by. one of those traps you made in its path. Let's keep going then. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? And they all have their secrets, but every place is different.
big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, or we'll unveil our plans. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable, and so we reach for the stars. Trying to be reminded to show y'all all data. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later.
Looks like we've got to climb up. Oh, that's cool. That's something different from the last time. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering. An obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Prawl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's... More than that, it's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this? Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One, establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn, status complete. Phase two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. 
Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Those Osram must have left this behind. Can't help them, but it can help us. The weapon. Thanks, Merle. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. It's heading in the same direction we're going. big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Looks like we can cross over here. Oh, uh, y'all. Been about 30 minutes for the day. Appreciate y'all watching. Excuse my little interruption, but I do have a large family and a lot going on. Well, you will hear parts and bits and parts of my life as I do these playthroughs, walkthroughs, let's plays, whatever. Um, tune back in. I'll have you some more content in soon. Thanks for watching.